Welcome back. Now, he faced Israeli army fire to pull off his latest stunt. The subversive graffiti artist Banksy, whose works are usually found adorning the streets of London and Bristol, has now created nine spray paintings on the controversial barrier which separates Israel from Palestine. Channel 4 News has exclusive footage of the artist at work, as Katie Razzle reports. Banksy in the West Bank. Nine pieces by Bristol's self-dubbed art terrorist. Taking street art to a new level. This is the first time pictures of the famously camera-shy stencil artist have been shown on television, filmed in a way that hides his identity. His stunts are notorious, he's often political. Here in Abu Dis, on the edge of Jerusalem, Israel's security fence effectively cuts off this part of the Palestinian territories from the rest. Israel argues the wall protects it from suicide attacks. Banksy says it turns Palestine into the world's largest open prison. And in that archway he often adopts on his website, points out the planned 700 kilometers of concrete make it the ultimate graffiti artist's holiday destination. He told us, The segregation wall is a disgrace. The possibility I find exciting is you could turn the world's most invasive and degrading structure into the world's longest gallery of free speech and bad art. Besides, I love Palestine. All the giant walls, the dirt and the falafel stalls remind you of Glastonbury. Speed, perhaps, meant he got away with it. Those pre-prepared images and stencils he uses. It's reported there was the odd Israeli gun pointed at them and shots in the air, but the images are still there. It must have just been the sheer size of the wall. It's like a blank canvas to an artist. That's like a red rag for a bull. You're going to want to cover it in work. Also, um, it may be a publicity stunt in a way, but to have a politically repressive situation to react against is enormously important for many artists. It gives them something to react against, something to give energy, meaning, importance to their work. Banks, he says, an old Palestinian man told him he was making the wall look beautiful. We don't want it to be beautiful, the man said. We hate this wall. Go home. There's been no reaction yet from the Israelis. Well, Palestine is Glastonbury, eh? If you want to see more of Banks at work or get a little closer look at those artworks, visit our website, of course, at the usual address. Our main headline tonight is Tony Blair announces sweeping new powers to tackle extremism. Channel 4 News has discovered that the police were warned two years ago that one of the would-be London bombers was considered a dangerous threat to moderate Muslims. The South London Mosque, which made the complaint, says it was told that the police's hands were tied. More details of that story on our website. That's it. We're back tomorrow, half past six, to learn from Sarah and from me. That is Channel 4 News. Have a good evening.